Hello my friend, it's Sarah here and I am back with another video to help you on the path to successfully dating and ultimately finding love. And in today's video, I want to explore the topic of why the right guy for you might not feel like he's the right guy for you in the beginning. And before we go any further, I do just need to apologize. They're doing some kind of work outside my apartment. So if you hear background noise, that's what's going on. I'm hoping it's not gonna to be too disruptive. But the reason I wanted to make this video is that I, for many years, wrote a lot of good guys off because in the beginning of meeting them and starting to date them, I wasn't experiencing this kind of crazy roller coaster of emotions. I wasn't experiencing what I associated with somebody being the one for me. And what I have uncovered on my own journey and what I want to share with you today is that actually what I was associating as somebody being the one and there being you know great chemistry and great potential there was actually just me repeating unhealthy patterns. So that's what we're gonna be exploring today because I wanna make sure that you are not writing guys off too soon because in your mind you are perceiving a calmness and a stillness and a peacefulness with a guy you are confusing that for being boring and dull and lack of chemistry so before we go any further if you are already subscribed to my channel then welcome back if you are new here my name is Sarah, I am a dating and relationship coach and I specialise in helping women to uncover and remove their current love obstacles and to decode and then recode something that I call the inner love code, which ultimately allows them to go out and attract the partner and the relationship that they truly desire. Here's what I want you to know and understand, that your beautiful mind on an unconscious level will always have you gravitating towards feelings and experiences that are familiar. So even if what you experienced in your past was undesirable, your mind doesn't really care about that. All it cares about is that the thing that it's going towards feels familiar and it feels safe because the mind sees familiar feelings and familiar experiences as its safety zone. So how that can play out for you is that if in your past you experienced feelings of inadequacy, um, the way that you were shown and received love as a little kiddo was unhealthy or it was chaotic or whatever it was that you experienced in your past, Basically, what happens is you will go out and you will unconsciously recreate these scenarios in your current day life because in your mind, you're like, yeah, this feels, this feels familiar. So even on a conscious level, if you're aware that something isn't actually what you want, on an unconscious level, there is a part of you that is seeing that as familiar, it's seeing it as safe. So as a result of that, we often pick partners and we often date people that will recreate those familiar feelings and those familiar scenarios. So of course, what happens is we keep repeating these same familiar patterns over and over, even if in every ounce of our body, we can see that the patterns that we have been experiencing are unhealthy, we can see that the people that we're dating are not ending up in the kind of relationships that we want. And we, we know that we do not want to keep dating the same guy, but with a different face. None of that matters because the unconscious mind is so strong and it is fighting so hard to stick to these familiar feelings and these familiar experiences. So as part of you, breaking unhealthy relationship patterns, 
there needs to be an acceptance that things are going to feel different than they ever have before. So in the beginning of dating someone, if they are actually totally different to anyone that you've dated before, if they are someone who is secure, someone who is healthy, someone who is actually capable of being in a, in a long-term, happy, healthy relationship, then they are going to show up differently than you have ever experienced before. And to you, in your mind, that is going to feel unfamiliar and that is going to feel uncomfortable. So for me, when I actually started dating my man, there was a lot of this that I had to work through because the way that he was showing up for me was very unfamiliar and it did, it felt uncomfortable. So him being consistent with how he was showing up, him actually listening to what I was saying, him actually, you know, his actions and his words aligning, him paying me compliments and, you know, elevating me, all of those things felt very unfamiliar and a little bit uncomfortable for me in the beginning. And I also didn't have this intense, like roller coaster, sparks flying everywhere chemistry that I had always associated with someone being right for me. And so luckily, because I had done enough work on myself, I understood that the process that I was going through was actually me just stepping into an unfamiliar situation. So rather than me going, oh, no, I don't feel all of those intense feelings, I was able to navigate through it and I was able to actually then open up and actually allow this guy, this secure, wonderful, healthy guy into my life. And we have now been together 19, 20 months. And if I hadn't have had the knowledge that I had, what I would have done is I would have sabotaged myself in the beginning by just writing him off because I wasn't feeling that those intense feelings. So if you have a pattern of always experiencing that really intense spark chemistry, all of that in the beginning of people that you date, then I really want to encourage you to not write someone off just because those feelings aren't there. Because just because you're not experiencing that, it doesn't automatically mean that someone isn't right for you. But unless you actually give someone a chance, how are you ever going to know? And remember, like I've said, and I really want to highlight this, is that when you are breaking patterns, it's going to feel unfamiliar and it's going to feel perhaps a little bit uncomfortable. And if you are wanting different results, if you're wanting a different kind of relationship, then you actually want things to feel different in the beginning because what you don't want is to just have history repeating itself over and over and over. So my experience has been that the right relationship didn't start out feeling like how I thought it was going to in the beginning. So my take home for you and what I really want to encourage you to do if you are actively dating right now is to not write someone off just because things don't feel how you perceive they should in the beginning of a relationship. Because remember, like I said, oftentimes when we're breaking those unhealthy patterns, we have to accept that things are not going to feel like they always have. And that is actually a good thing. So please remain open and curious and give someone a chance. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope that you have gained some insights, some words of wisdom, some food for thought that is gonna help you on the path to finding love. And don't forget, I am holding a free five-day challenge which starts on January the 4th for anyone who perhaps didn't meet their love goal in 2021. The challenge is called Get Ready for Love in 2022. It's completely free and you will find details of how to sign up in the description below below this video. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And don't forget to click the bell so you never miss a video. Have a great week, my friend, and I shall speak to you really soon.